Adrian, just to give you a sense of the sheer force of the wind, the entire front of the store just completely ripped down and in the corner you may be able to see there was a car there when the wall came down and in, the, in front of that car on the ground here there's a green piece of metal and glass. That's actually the top of a bus shelter and the shelter is about 20 meters away. It gives you a sense of how strong the wind is and we're seeing this scene up and down the main strip here in Lake Charles which was really at the brunt, took the brunt of the storm and it's not like there was one hurricane that hit this place. It's more like a dozen tornadoes. Hurricane Laura hit the Gulf Coast with a ferocity not seen in decades. There he goes. Winds up to 240 kilometers an hour. Get back! Forecasters had warned of an unsurvivable storm surge that could send water as far as 60 kilometers inland. But as the sun rose, it was clear that surge never came, and it was the wind that did the damage. Lake Charles took the brunt of the hit. Uh, seeing a train that was completely uh, derailed, long train. A uh, bunch of different houses and businesses and farms, you know, destroyed or, or missing roofs or, uh, or there's sheet metal just thrown all over fields. It looks a lot like tornado damage. With the streets littered with glass, parts of rooftops and debris carried by the storm, those who came to survey the damage tried to remain calm. I got bumped in the head and I'm trying to like get back home. That's it. Yeah. That's so it. It's been a rough morning. It has. And, you know, um, I'm just glad that we are all alive. The region west of New Orleans is dotted with chemical and gas plants. A chemical fire at a chlorine plant forced those who had just weathered the storm to stay indoors and shelter from the toxic fumes. Meanwhile, the storm continued north, losing strength and downgrading to a tropical storm. We have thousands and thousands of our fellow citizens whose lives are upside down uh, because their businesses and or their homes uh, have been damaged. Louisiana's governor did an aerial tour of the Lake Charles area. But along the coast, places like Cameron Parish are almost inaccessible on the ground. Most of the residents there are evacuated, but officials say 150 people refused to leave. Their fate is unclear. Okay, so there's a lot for people to deal with there. What should we be looking for tomorrow, Stephen? Well, the Red Cross says that there's upwards of 10,000 people who evacuated and went into shelters, and then there's not counting all of the people who went into stay with relatives in places like Texas or just further uh, north from here. And so you're going to have all of those people returning to this area to literally find not much left and they're going to be picking up the pieces and for store owners like this one it's going to be a long and very difficult recovery. All right, Stephen D'Souza, thanks very much.